Hi, I am back with an Invisalign update. I just put tray six in last night, so I am about 12 weeks into my program, and I have many, many more trays to go. <laughs> um, I wanted to start off this video by letting you know that I forgot in my last video to let you know that something called Chewies come in your Invisalign bag when you first get your Invisalign. Um, Chewies are these tiny little green things they look like miniature pool noodles. They are made of the same material as the pool noodles. That's exactly what they feel like. Um, these are for when you put your aligners in, you are supposed to bite on these to kind of seat the aligners. You do it like this. You do it all the way around. And my orthodontist recommends actually making sure that you do it at least five minutes a day in addition to each time you place your trays. It is painful when you do it. You can definitely feel your teeth shifting when you bite into it. Um, it kind of pushes the aligners on a lot tighter than they would if you just placed them on your own. Um, so I make sure that I never forget to do it because I can tell that it works to push my teeth where they belong. <laughs> Um, the biggest issue with having my aligners, and this was as I anticipated, is the eating thing. Um, it has been very, very difficult for me to get used to not being able to snack all day long and having to plan meals. I usually only get one, maybe two meals in per day, and I never, ever snack anymore. Um, because of that, I could tell that I was losing weight. I'm not a person that likes to step on a scale and look at a number because I can obsess over it. So I can tell my weight gain and my weight loss based on how my clothes were fitting. And I could tell they were getting looser. So I knew I was losing weight. And with nursing two babies at a time right now, I cannot afford to lose weight. So I've been making sure that with every meal, I am eating as many calories as I can to try to compensate for the fact that I am no longer snacking. It's been difficult, but I am managing and I keep telling myself, this is only for a little over a year. You can do it, you can do it. And I'm going to make it, but that is for sure the most challenging aspect of having the aligners, um, meal planning. <laughs> The other thing is with my attachments, when I eat, food sticks to the attachments. It sticks between the attachments, it sticks on top of the attachments. Um, so if I am eating out in public, it's really gross. I try to make sure that I always order water. And when I'm done eating, before I make it to the restroom to brush my teeth to get all the food off, I use um, a sip of water and I kind of swish it around in my mouth like I would mouthwash to try to get the food off of the attachments. Um, most of the time I don't feel it's there. I can feel the attachments themselves, but I don't feel the food stuck to it. Um, but most of the time if I just rinse my mouth with water at the table, other people don't seem to notice that it's happened, or at least if they do, they're polite enough to not let me know um, that I look really gross with food stuck on my teeth. So yes, eating is very disgusting with the Visalign attachments in. Um, it's been an adjustment, but it's okay. It comes off really easy when you brush, floss, use mouthwash, and all of that fun stuff. Um, someone is asking me what the most annoying thing is about having them, and that's definitely it. It's all food related. Um, let's see, headaches. That was another thing I had a concern about. I have a rare connective tissue disease called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. And with this, I get a lot of migraines. I have a lot of trigger for my migraines, and they come very, very frequently. It's not uncommon for me to get one or two per week. Most of the time, um, I just kind of work through them and try to not let people know when I'm hurting, but sometimes they are very severe. And I was really, really worried that having my teeth shifting would cause more migraines than I was used to having. I am glad to say that having Invisalign has not affected my migraines whatsoever. I've had maybe one migraine after a tray placement, but I think that was coincidental. I don't think it was related at all to having the Invisalign trays um, replaced or moving up a tray. Um, so if you are prone to migraines, according to my experience, it's not something you need to worry about with Invisalign. It's a very slow process and I think that really helps and it hasn't affected my headaches at all and I hope that's the same for anybody else who has migraines. 
Um, moving to a new set of aligners. Um, I would say so far moving from tray four to tray five was the most difficult. I came out and I told my husband, wow, you know, this one is the first time it really, really hurt to put it in. Um, I'm not sure what about it made it hurt worse than other trays, but moving from tray four to tray five was rough. My mouth was sore for about a day, maybe a day and a half after putting it in. Um, I took Motrin and that seemed to take care of most of the pain and I made sure I was drinking really cold water to kind of help with any inflammation that may have been going on and it made it um, tolerable. Like I said, I haven't received headaches because of it. It was just very, very sore. Um, let's see what else I wanted to let you know about. Um, oh, somebody asked me about gum recession. They said they had read online that people with Invisalign tend to have issues with gum recession more than people who don't have Invisalign. Um, I have not had any problems with gum recession yet. I have always had a little bit of it because with the connective tissue disease, um, gum recession is just part of that. Um, I have very minor gum recession on this side. I looked into it and talked to my orthodontist and she said most of the time when people have gum recession issues with Invisalign, it is because they don't realize how hard they're brushing when they are brushing and they're brushing a lot more frequently than they used to. So the act of brushing their teeth is actually what is causing the recession. So I use a soft bristle toothbrush and I do not brush hard when I brush my teeth. I go in a circular motion and I just make sure that they're clean. I don't push really hard, I don't scrub, I just brush and I brush gently. And that should keep me from having any further issues with gum recession and if you don't have gum recession to begin with, it should keep you from having gum recession. Um, as far as seeing a difference, I cannot visually tell a difference in my teeth yet. Like I said, I'm only on tray six and my orthodontist told me that it might be before tray 10, 11, 12, somewhere in there where I might visually see a difference. However, I can tell my teeth are moving because my bite is different. When I take my aligners out and I close my mouth, it feels very, very different than when I began the treatment. So I know it's working, I just can't see it working yet. And the impatient part of me is annoyed by that, but since I can feel that everything is moving, um, I'm okay with it. We'll get there when we get there. One thing I have found that nobody told me about before I started Invisalign is that lipstick is a no-no. <laughs> when you smile and you have lipstick on, it sticks to your aligners and it stains them and it's hard to get off. So I have stopped wearing lipstick and instead I have purchased a couple different colors of lip stain. Um, this is just a Sephora brand lip stain and I don't think they have colors on here. No, they don't name their stuff. This is just 05 shade. It looks like a lip gloss. It goes on like a lip gloss but it's thicker and it stains your lips. Um, so it stays on there and it doesn't rub off on the aligners. I've been using this and then I'll put chapstick on top of it so that my lips don't feel dry and I haven't had any issues with the color sticking to my aligners when I've done that. I don't remember how much these cost. I tried a couple different brands before I decided to go with Sephora brand. I tried one that was like $30 for a tube of lip stain and it was not that much better than this and I think this is like 12 somewhere in there and then I also tried some cheapo drugstore lip stains which came off very very quickly and so even though they were more uh, cost friendly they were not as effective and I don't like them so I'm going with this nice middle of the road Sephora brand highly recommend it and then just any chapstick on top of it um, let's see Yep, that's about all I have to say about my experience with the Invisalign so far. My orthodontist did tell me about something called Propel, which is $150 on top of what I've already paid for my Invisalign aligners. And she showed me, it looks kind of like an EpiPen, but there's a screw at the end of it. And she said what they'll do 
is take that and they poke holes in the bone above your teeth, like three holes per tooth, and it creates an inflammatory reaction. And it's supposed to be able to make it where you can switch your aligners out every three or four days instead of every two weeks to speed up the process and be done in you know half the time. I thought about it. I got on Facebook and I joined a group for people who use Invisalign and I posted a couple questions about it trying to see if it was worth the money, um, the risks, if anybody had tried it. And overwhelmingly, people who suffer from migraines told me, do not do it. Um, they said, yeah, it moves your teeth a lot faster, but you're in so much pain and you get so many headaches with it that it is not worth anything to have it done. Um, they said people couldn't pay them to do that again. So I have opted to not do what is called Propel to move the Invisalign experience along faster. It's not worth it to me to risk being in pain, but I thought I would put it in this video in case anyone else is interested in it. You can do your own research and decide if it's for you. It's not for me. <laughs> um, and I was also told about a little machine that I guess you can buy it on. It's called Excelident, and it vibrates your teeth, and so you can switch your trays out much faster than the every two weeks and be done with your treatment a lot quicker too. Um, that is $1,100 in addition to what you've already paid for the Invisalign. So my wallet, my husband's wallet, we can't handle that amount, so we decided against that as well. But that is something that I would be willing to consider if we had the cash to blow. So I thought I'd also put that in this video in case there's anything you wanted to ask your orthodontist about those possibilities for you. But for now, I guess that is all I have to say. Um, I'll give you a quick look at my teeth. They're still crowded. They still look to me about the same as when I started, but the experience is going well aside from eating, but I anticipated that 100% and I'm okay with that. And I will see you in my next video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, send me a message. I try to answer all of the questions I get in either direct format, like responding to your comment or sending you a message back, or I try to answer them in my next video. So I will see you later. <laughs>